Okay, on to part three and the final part. So we've added some video from the flip camera into our project and we're now ready to f finish up. Uh, I, before I do that I just want to show you a couple other uh, features or capabilities here of iMovie, uh, iMovie 09. So let's say that I want to do some work on this clip. Um, down here, this cookie making clip. Uh, if I put, click on it, or if I even just put my mouse over it, I get a little menu uh, button that pops up up here over in the sort of lower left hand side. If I click that, you can see um, there's there's a bunch of options here. Um, the one I want to show you is this clip. I mean, yeah, the clip adjustments option. So when I open that up, I get a little inspector. Um, and this inspector has three tabs on it, clip, video, and audio. So under the clip inspector, um, you can see uh, some information about the clip. I've got 57 seconds of it. The original was a minute four, and I could still get those other seconds if I wanted to. Um, now, I, we do have some video effects or special effects that show up here, some kind of fun ones. You can see there's a qu quite a selection, 20 altogether. Um, which do things like make it look like a dream. Um, this one is kind of fun that turns it sort of cartoonish. Um, and a few other options here that might be kind of interesting to you. Um, X-ray, negative, black and white, um, sepia. So if um, that's interesting to you, you just select it, like this cartoon one. Um, and it takes it a minute to process it. Mine already processed, um, but it takes a minute to process. Right underneath that, you can also, you know, speed the clip up or slow it down. Um, just remember, it also does that to the audio it becomes speeded up or slowed down. Uh, you can make it go in opposite directions, which is kind of fun. And if your video is shaky, you might try this uh, ability of iMovie to smooth out some of that shakiness. Okay, so some of the special effects there. These were weren't available in iMovie 08, and they're and they're in iMovie 09, which really adds to the capabilities. Um, then under the video tab, if you need to change what the video looks like, um, lots of options here. Um, to increase the contrast, saturation. Again, you might have to play around with this a bit um, to fi find the right thing, or you can just kind of ignore it. There is an auto button down here, which will sort of auto correct the color in your video, and it's worth trying. Um, it, I wouldn't use that every single time, or at least when you use that, be sure and sort of look at the video, because it does not always make things better. Um, and then the audio adjustments. So a good selection of audio adjustments here. And this is again, is just for the clip that I have selected. Um, you can see the things I can change. The volume for this clip, um, ducking. Uh, that just means that this, the audio from this track could take precedence. So if I had background music, the background music would duck whenever it overlapped the audio from this track, meaning it would be reduced so that this track would stand out more. It's perfect if you, ha if you do have background music and, and you have talking, you want to make sure the talking is heard. You could turn on ducking and then you can also adjust the ducking how much the other tracks are volume is turned down or how much they duck. And then some fading controls as well. Um, so with that, um, those are just a few options there for those clips when they come in. All right, let's get this out. Um, so um, remember, you don't have to save the project. It's getting saved automatically. That just means I can come back and work on this some more if I wanted to um, and not have to start over. So now I'm going to share. And I'm going to share, go right down to Export Movie. And I have to tell it where I want it to go. So I think I'd like it to go, I think, on the desktop. I've got a folder for my content that I'm creating. So there's temperature. Um, and this is my version 2 of this. And I'm just going to let it go out as a medium size one, 640 by 480. Um, that is uh, just the fine size to export. And it doesn't have an I, uh, a dot here for the iPhone, but it'll work just fine. It'll just be a little larger file for the iPhone. Um, uh, but it will play, if you put this into iTunes, it'll play much uh, nicer if it's this larger size. And I'm just going to click Export, and off it goes. Okay, so that is the process, kind of the final thing that we've done, where we've kind of put all of our stuff together, where we've recorded audio, 
um, into iMovie. We brought in still still images. We have titles going. We have video that we captured from our document camera, video that we captured from the flip camera, and now we're creating a version of this that we can share with others, whether we're going to um, upload it and have it in iTunes or put it on a website, put it to YouTube ourselves, or maybe even copy it onto a DVD to give out, or maybe just put it on our computer and show it to our class um, live. With that, I just want to thank you for watching and wish you good luck.